that first stretch that I took just to kind of tighten that up I just still left that on there what I'm going to do now I'm going to take that same stretch again but I'm going to take it a little harder this time really give her give her a little bit of a pull there you know I got it nice and tight you can just cut that corner down bring it up here this it's going into this bar here this is called a nap lock or a bend over bar some people call it you just get it up get it nice and tight and let's see here I just take the take the knife cut it right along that bar Get in. Now I give that just a little bit more of a crank. Get that up in there real good. Then you just bend it over. Just like that. And you release your stretcher and move it over. Very important to keep this at an angle. Your first stretch you pretty much want straight on, but after that you want to angle towards the corner. I'll see if I can show you what a stretching pattern is a little later here. Um, but that's just the way you have to stretch a carpet. It's just like pretty much any material. You go to stretch it, you got to kind of do it in a certain way or it doesn't come out very flat. I'm going to give it a stretch and then I take this tool and hook it onto them little nails. See the stretcher pulls the carpet up and then I push this down and then release this handle and the carpet pulls back a little bit which hooks it into those nails. See that's why it was very important before when I said you have to have those nails pointed towards the wall because if you don't, it's not going to work. <laughs> you go to hook it on there and those nails are going the wrong way, it's just going to slide right off. Give it another stretch here. Push it down. Hook it on those nails. Pop her up. And that's the first stretch. Now I gotta go ahead and install that wall. Get that all tucked in there. And then we can go and stretch this way. And basically how you tuck in a wall. You gotta take your handy kicker again. Bump that stuff up. Take this tool. And you push it down on that little channel I was talking about earlier. Remember the little quarter inch channel there? You just tuck her in. And I always just go back and push down with my hand and make sure they're on the nails real good. Now I got that wall all installed and we're going to go and take, go ahead and take a stretch the other way. And again, you want to start out straight. Just give her a good cranking. And I forgot my tool. Go ahead and hook that down. Pop the handle. Move her over. And another stretch. And now you just keep it at an angle. Try to get a better shot here. You don't want to go too much of an angle, just a little bit. Just enough to pull it that way. 
slowly. You want to pull it straight towards the wall in that way a little bit so when you get over there you're taking all the slack up. But see that's not that big of an angle.